Hello, and welcome to a Broken Binding unboxing <clears throat> all the way over from the UK, and the tape didn't quite hold up. I didn't need to cut that. It just, it, it was open already. But you know what? It looks like it survived. This, my friends, is Essex Dogs by Dan Jones, which I'm very intrigued to read. Uh, so, Dan Jones, if you're not familiar, is a historian. Uh, he has written many, many a tale about the, uh, the, oh my god, the Plantagenets? British royals, if you will, but it's always been non-fiction. This is his first bit of historical fiction, which very much intrigues me. So this takes us back to the Hundred Years' War. Uh, we have, oh, okay, we get just a generic Dragon's Horde uh, bookmark which I am totally fine with. Broken Binding since 2021. Uh, so it's Essex Dogs. It takes place during the Hundred Years' War, and it follows the titular Essex Dogs, a ragtag group of uh, archers and soldiers uh, who are led by a battle-scarred captain as they try to survive the Hundred Year War. As I struggle with untying this very beautifully nice ribbon and destroying the hell out of it. Uh, so the book's nice individually wrapped. They got some tape on the back. The tape holds up better than the tape on the boxes, but the box was still sealed. We got a little kind of wafer sticker on the top there. It says Essex Dogs. Very nice. Uh, this is signed and numbered. Uh, the box actually did have the number on it. So, spoiler alert, it's number 856. There we go. Uh, it doesn't match my, does not match my uh, subscription, but that's fine. I don't know if my I don't know if these actually go up high enough to match my subscription. But they do have sprayed and stenciled edges. We're gonna see that in a second. It's like Christmas. Rip off the wrapping paper. Underneath you get Dan Jones, Essex Dogs. Very nice. Oh, there we go. 856 of th oh, well, that's a weird number. 1,346 numbered copies, which is very weird. But you know what? 1346 is the year it takes place. Would you look at that? And would you also look at those sprayed edges? Stencil edges. That is very nice. Very pretty indeed. Kind of just sprayed on top, sprayed on the bottom. Uh, one of the downsides to... Oh, it's Head of Zeus. There we go. Dan Jones. Uh, one of the downsides to just uh, publishing overseas in general is that... Uh, oh, this actually nice has... It might just be a decorative kind of headband up in the top there. So usually it's kind of a glued spine. But I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's usually kind of a cheaper glued spine, which is always unfortunate. It's probably the same thing here if it's just a decorative head and tail band tie, ugh, glued on. But anyways, um, this one seems to be holding up pretty nicely. Why is this? Look at that. Oh, okay, okay, because it's a part. I'm like, why is there like a different design there? Because now we're in part three. So Essex Dogs, the story, historical fiction, story of the Essex Dogs, a ragtag group of snipers and archers. I mean, snipers being with bow and arrow, of course, because this is the 1300s. Trying to survive, brought to you by a historian himself who has done phenomenal historical nonfiction work. And his first foray, foray into, there he goes, the Templar was a good one. Powers and Thrones. Um, so very excited to see what he does with historical fiction. It'll be pretty interesting. We'll see how it goes. I'll let you know how it goes once I dive into it. Uh, copies are still available over at the broken, BrokenBindingSubSUB.com. Not BrokenBinding.com. BrokenBinding.com. Doesn't really have exclusive books. They just have they have fancy books, lots of signed books, but nothing too exclusive. Broken Binding Sub is the one with the exclusive books. They have a subscription, which you can get on the wait list for, uh, or you can go to the Dragon's Horde and get exclusive books like this, courtesy of Dan Jones. So thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for the beautiful pack job, uh, courtesy of the Broken Binding. And we will see you around next time.